Good afternoon, Van Dwellers. This is Jody, and I want to show you my five pound 1.2 growler tank. It has a low pressure regulator, and I've got the six foot hose. I think it's a little short as far as, you know, you don't have a lot of play there. I would get the 12 foot hose, uh, same setup. I've got it secured to my steel wheels. Even though they're ugly, they serve another purpose. Got three inches cracked on the passenger and on the front window. And so let's go inside the van. You can see it's glowing red. I've had it on here about uh, an hour now. So turn the lights off, you can see it better. And, whoops. It's a toasty 74 degrees. And, um, this is a very safe way to go camping in our little Cascade van uh, camper because it's chemical, it's catalytic. There's no pilot light or uh, active flame right now. Um, the pilot light goes off after you initially light it. So it's chemical. The mat is made of platinum. It is sensitive to dust. And so I wanna show you uh, this quick connect setup here. Sorry it took so long Haley to make this video but um, I had to wait for some of the parts to come in and I went to a quick disconnect setup so I wouldn't have to keep threading it on and off the appliance and as you can see it's glowing red. I've got the safety switch. Uh, it's a lever that came with this quick connect and if I flip the gas off, just by flipping up this lever, boom. See how quickly it turns it off? No hissing, and that's uh, really nice. And so if I put the lever back down on on, you'll see what happens here. Let me close the window so you can see. Now, isn't that amazing? you don't have to turn the knob back to start, okay? Because the gas is right there, because it's chemical. Once it's lit, you could do that all day. I've been doing it all day, making these videos. And so that is really nice. And you only need 18 inches of clearance here in the front. And only this front grill gets hot and the top, the sides I could leave my hand on there. It's warm on the bottom. And so this is really nice. You don't smell any fumes. The condensation is minimal. If I come over here and open up the window, you don't see any fog. And I've been in here over an hour and it's uh, really nice and toasty. I think this is a safe method. Uh, could you put the tank up there in the wheel well? Absolutely, but you're taking a risk because the bigger size vans they have a protective box that they it's uh self-contained and that's what they store their tanks in but we don't have that option here so i would recommend this kind of a setup i have an oscillating fan up there that runs on battery power it you charge it with the usb um, you can turn the oscillating part off i have my vents open for cross flow my curtains closed and this little heater weighs 10 pounds with the feet. And if you add the weight of the growler tank, 15 pounds, you've got a 25 pound setup and you get another, uh, if you buy another nipple, you can hook up the same hose and tank to your barbecue grill. So I think this is a really nice feature. Uh, I haven't taken it apart yet to store, to put the cover on and put it in our crate underneath our seat, but I'll do that. I'm sure it'll fit. Uh, and you can see like with my legs, you know, I'm pretty close to it right now, but I still have enough clearance. And if I knock this over in my sleep, it'll shut off automatically. That's a safety feature. I think this is the best position for this heater. I mean, you could have it down lower, but this is better. I hope you like my video and have a blessed day.